uh, want to encourage the pastor that uh, when he, don't you ever think that we're going to get bored or tired of stories? Yeah. Of yeah. Stuff that God is bringing you through and is, is you know, because I, we, um, we learned Friday night, I learned Friday night that our testimony is not only just for us, but it's, it becomes salvation for somebody else. Amen. You know, someone that don't know how to hear from God or hear God speak can learn from that testimony. Because that's how God speaks. Yeah. You just might God they got oh yeah, I better pull off. That could have been Holy Spirit. That was Holy Spirit. Yeah. Right? You know? But our our natural mind like, ah, that's just something that I thought of, you know, just, oh, I better pull off. Yeah. No, that was Holy Spirit. Because he knows what's going on. He knows what's going on. He's very um, involved with us, yeah. Amen. more involved than we 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 think he is. Yeah. And a lot of times we just want to write those things up. It's all right. It was just a coincidence. It was just a coincidence. And if it gets lengthy, that's and with uh, God is very involved with uh, yeah. lots of uh, Detail. details. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. But um, I want to read. I'm going to speak on tithes this morning. Amen. <laughs> I want to read Malik because I learned uh, there was a testimony that the guest speaker from Friday night had said that her her husband. Anyways, it's her testimony, so I ain't going to get into that. But um, tithing is very very important, and we know that tithing is a tenth. But we learned we learned in this. In this, uh, we learned from our pastor that tenth is only the starting point, good starting Amen. point. But um, I'm going to read Malachi 3:10. It says, "Bring all the tithes into the storehouse, so there will be enough food in my temple. If you do," says the Lord of heaven, of heaven's armies, "I will open the windows of heaven for you. I will pour out a blessing so great you won't." have enough room to take it in. Try it. Put me to the test. Your crops will be abundant, for I will guard them from insects and diseases. Ain't that amazing? Mm -hmm. Your grapes will not fall from the vine before they are ripe, says the Lord of Heaven's armies. Then all nations will call you blessed, for your land will be such a delight, says the Lord of Heaven's armies. I want to stop there. This this is uh, he is speaking of a promise that he will always do when we give him our tithe, or or uh, give him his, what he's due, <clears throat> and it also speaks of a a um, that he will guard. What he's left us to, what he's see, we give him. Let's just say we give him a tenth, but he's he's left. He's given us a ninety, the ninety percent to uh, what do you, what do you call it to uh, man, manage or to steward. steward? Yes, to steward. It's really his. Amen. He's given it to us, but he's given us. He's left us with the ninety percent, or eighty five percent, or eighty percent, whatever you. You know, to steward. And he says, even that, if you give me, even that I will protect from insects, from things that are going to try to suck it from you. Amen. Because Amen. we know that the what he's left us with, the steward, is there's other things trying to suck it away, away from Amen. us. There are things that wants, wants to uh, take our money. Amen. And he says, I will protect you from those things. That's what that, that is saying, that He will protect. I will guard them from insects and disease, meaning their crops, but we know our bank account. Amen. You know? Amen. Ain't that amazing Amen. how that is hidden in there sometimes? Amen. You know, I, I, hadn't seen it that, I hadn't seen that until I discovered it this morning. Well, that's just, you know, we... We need to learn to put our trust in the giver, not the giving. Yeah. 
Amen. We can't trust the giving, but in, we put our trust in the giver. Amen. 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 Let's put our trust in the giver this morning. Amen.